You got a radio with oh, the radio. 162 and 164, slate 456, take one. Mark. Action! <laughs> Beyond the River is one of those films that you actually you want to see on a big screen. It's a genre movie on one level, it's a sport film, and on another level it's about people, and it's about togetherness, and it's about two men from totally diverse backgrounds working together to achieve an aim. South Africa, as much as we wanted to be a rainbow nation, we've sort of gotten to a point where we're a little bit divided and we've just gone back into our little comfort zones. The story really teaches us to sort of break those walls down and give people chances. The story, uh, it's one of a kind, bringing two colors together, black and white. It really was a story where you'd had two people who, by learning more about each other, had managed to come together and achieve something that was actually quite difficult to achieve. Doozy's a pretty crazy race. I mean, the guys are on the water half the time, and the other half of the time they're running with a boat on their shoulders over mountains. We had to try and capture that energy. We needed the film to have a, like a, a kinetic energy. It's all very well to say that, but to create kinetic energy in film, you know, your camera needs to be moving fast, and we use drones a lot. I don't think we would have had a quarter of the production value without access to a drone. We could get establishing shots of the valleys, get a sense of where this race is taking place, fly over. The drone was definitely the right tool for this job. We had to take footage from the actual doozy and blend it in with the footage of our guy. Sometimes we were taking our boat and replacing it into other boats. We had also visual effects, we did quite a lot of green screen stuff. Never been a fan of, of green screen car work because it looks so unrealistic. To rig a car and rig, rig the angles you need takes, takes a huge amount of time, time we didn't really have. We decided that, we, I think we had one green screen day in the studio and it's spectacular, it's some of the best, you don't even, it's not even a conversation that you think, that you think it's green screen, it's just that done that well. Nick's a spectacular editor and a spectacular storyteller. Nick was just amazing the way that he started retelling the story with what works. We had this scene on this guy trying to cut cables off a pylon and you know it was one of our biggest headaches you know like how physically do we do this and eventually we did it on green screen in a studio when I saw what Nick had done with it. It's magic. Not for one second do you not believe that that's not a man standing on a, on a pylon. Film has so many different parts to it, has so many different processes to it, and you engage with so many different people on different levels that add value to what you're doing. The really good stories, you don't write them, they write you. Mm -hmm.